Welcome back to Honey Baby Child Reads. Um, today we'll be reading Sophie Washington, Queen of the Bee by Tanya Duncan Ellis. Chapter 11, Funplex. Three hours of video games, bubble cars, and, se- and seven-year-old boys, hyper on candy, candy and cake. Nathan Jones and his father everywhere I turn. It's a birthday party at the Funplex, and it's my worst nightmare come true. Cole's best friend, Jeff, invited him and all the boys from first grade class to his seventh birthday party. My brother has been looking forward to the big event for the past two weeks. Do I have to go to I wait as mom picks up her car, car keys. I'm sorry, sweetie, but I have planned to attend this lunch ladies. I ladies lunch at our church, and the last month, and for the last month, and kids aren't allowed. She explains. Why are you so against going to the fun plex? You used to, you used to love that place. That's before I met that icky Nick, Nathan Jones, and he realized that his father, the owner, said, "I say he's there anytime you go, and I don't want to. I I don't want to listen to him teasing." about me uh, about the spelling bee and other and the other times i've gone to the fun flex with my friends not coles sophie i think you're worrying for nothing mom says go to the party and enjoy yourself and i'll see you when i get back mom slides on her brown suit Sweet jacket and brown leather boots. Grabs her purse and heads out the door. Cole and Dad join me in the foyer and we make our way to the car. I listen to my favorite songs on the radio on the way to the funplex and ignore the thoughts of a bad time to come. Ten minutes later, we pull into the game center's parking lot. Then, then follow the groups of happy kids and tired par- looking parents inside. Hey Cole, Jeff just runs up to him and gives him a chest bump. Happy birthday Jeff, Cole replies. When we join the rest of the group, Dad explains why well, I'm not at the party to Jeff's father and offers to pay my way. How embarrassing. Not only I not only am I at the party for babies, but my dad has to pay for me to be here. Sophie is more than welcome at the party. There's no need to pay for her. Jeff's mom says we enter the main hall to get tokens for the video games and bubble cars. That's when my worst fear comes true. Guess who's at the front counter helping out? Nathan Jones. He's wearing a funplex t-shirt and jeans. He he looks even scrawnier than he does in his school uniform. Hey Sophie, he says peering out of the dark dark rimmed glasses coming to the spy competition I like coming to spy on the competition I'm not spying on anyone Nathan just having fun at a party with friends I quickly get my tokens and hurry up hurry to catch up with the rest of the group at the video games I hope that Nathan doesn't realize I'm spending my sef- Saturday afternoon with a bunch of seven-year-olds. Nathan stays behind the counter with 
the, with his dad. So I breathe a sigh of relief that I won't have to speak to him the rest of the, my time at the Funplex. I end up ha having a good time at the party. Jeff's older sister, Ava, who is in fourth grade and is here. We play air hockey and video games together. We have a blast on the bumper cars, knocking Cole and Jeff's fire engine red cars into the side of the bumper area. With any, with my blue one is especially fun. I use half of my tokens on that. The fun plex pizza and birthday cakes taste even better than I remember at the party I came to yet last year. On the way out, I see Nathan sorting through plastic spoons and forks. Boy, get back here and put those napkins out like I told you, his father yells from the back room. Nathan scurries to find the napkins and trips over a box of napkins. He looks around to make sure no one sees him and quickly bends to pick up the wayward tokens before his dad finds out. If he wasn't such a jerk, I'd kind of feel sorry for him. Cole, Dad, and I make sure make our way out of out to the parking lot. Thanks for taking us to the party, Dad. Says Cole. I had lots of fun. Me too. I say, me sliding into my feet after we make it to the car. Well, the fun is not over for you, Sophie. Says Dad. Remember, I promised you to get special surprise for you were winning the spelling bee. Yay, what is it? I ask, bouncing up down, bouncing up and down in my seat. We are on our way now. Thank you for reading. Uh, thank you for listening to Sophie Washington, Queen of the Bee by Tanya Duncan Ellis. Bye. Hmm.